Welcome to another edition of Reading with Rockfish. Good to see you. Happy summer. I'm hoping everybody everywhere is on summer. Or if you're not, you're getting this much closer. Okay, so it's summer and there's a lot going on in the world. We're going to get through it. Everyone, remember, treat each other the way you want to be treated. And I think the world would be a better place. I know. It's very difficult though, but I try to remember it every day. You don't have to agree with everyone, but you do have to respect everyone's opinion, okay? And treat each other the way you want to be treated. Now, there's my little spiel, but it's summer, and I like to read in summer. Dig, if you will, the picture. I have a book. I stole it from my grandson. Click, clack, moo. Cow's the type. Ah, look at this. Here's a history lesson for the kids. A typewriter. I know. A typewriter. I have one. Wait, I think. Oh my goodness. So you know how heavy computers are, right? They're really heavy. You want to see a typewriter? Ta-da! Click, clack, type. This is what the cows are going to use today. It's a typewriter. It weighs, oh my gosh, about 20 pounds. Easy. And you type on it, same setup as a keyboard. Hear it? And you type. And you go... And then you get little letters. Oh my gosh, it's a typewriter. So the first time ever, I got a prop. Now, I got to push it back. This is how we call it, returning it back and forth. It doesn't go for you. The back space, you got to really work it. You got to have muscles to work this thing. I'm going to tell you right now, you got to have muscles to lift it. And then I got to hit the space bar so I can close it. Okay, hold them, smoke them if you got them. This is crazy. This is heavy. It's super heavy. It's really old. I don't even know. Look how dusty it is. But I found it in my attic of wonder. To quote my friend Steve. Okay. So that's what these cows are going to use. A typewriter. Ask your parents if they have one around. They probably don't. Very few people do. Secretaries at schools. Because sometimes there's forms that still use a typewriter. I know. Go figure. So we're going to read. Click. Clack Moo, Cows That Type, by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Betsy Lewin. Betsy makes some nice pictures. She drew a very realistic typewriter. Love the chicken and all the cows. Quack, quack, and a duck. Let's go. Dun, da, 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 da. Here's the title page. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. And I like click, clack, moo if you're just learning how to read English more fluently. Like I'm trying to learn Spanish more fluently, so I'm using kids' books. Click, clack, moo. Lots of vowel sounds. Cows that type. Long I. All the different phonetics that you can use. Here's the title page again by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. Here's the dedication to, I love the dedications. For my dad, D.C., to Sue Dooley. So Doreen's giving it to her dad and Betsy Lewin is giving this to Sue Dooley. They must be friends, huh? Okay, look at the farmer. Farmer Brown has a problem. <clears throat> His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack, rrr, click clack, rrr, click -de click -de clack, rrr. That could be annoying. <clears throat> At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. All those pesky clouds. What could they be typing about? I think they'd email. Huh. You don't need a Wi-Fi, though. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Well, they have some demands. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, 
we're closed. No milk today. Cows that don't give milk? What's the point? No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. They don't let up. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Close, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, whoever heard of such a thing? How could I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Furious is a big word for really mad. <clears throat> Apparently Farmer Brown gave me a frog in my throat. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. How do you think that's going to go? Quick. Teacher moment. Take a time. Make a prediction. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Now, neutral party means they don't have any feathers in the game. No skin in the game. <clears throat> He's not on. Duck's not on the cow side. Duck's not on the chicken side. Duck's what we call Switzerland. Because Switzerland is a country that is always neutral. So Duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. How do you think that's going to go? The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. <coughs> My dog's got an answer. <coughs> Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. <gasps> the cows have an answer. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Now hold on a minute. Do you think he's going to go for it? I don't know. That's a heavy typewriter. Farmer Brown decided this was a good, a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Look at that, they got electric blankets. Everybody's happy. The next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, whack. Click, clack, whack. Clickety, clack, whack, whack. Ta-da! Look at that! The cows and the ducks and the chickens all got what they wanted. Oh my goodness! Way to go! They banded together and they held firm. And they got what they wanted. And the farm got happy and farmer got happy animals and then he gets eggs and milk again and everything is good. So, a great story. It's called, he's got another book called Giggle Giggle Quack. I want to get that one. Okay. Click Clack Moo, Cows of Type. Fun story, easy read, lots of fluency practice, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you all are enjoying your summer. Do the best you can. Be the best person you can be and treat each other the way you want to be treated. And don't forget to read. Or if you want to type, click Giddy Clack, Click Clack Moo. You can type. I got a typewriter. Ask your parents. Do they have a typewriter? You can practice. And the setup is the same on the keyboard of your computer as it is on the typewriter. Because the typewriter came first. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much. Wait, here we go. Thank you so much. Peace, friends.